In just two days, St. Louis voters will, be, will vote for who becomes the next Board of Aldermen president. And before you tune out or lose interest, just know <laughs> whoever wins Tuesday could make a big difference when it comes to a city-county merger, the future of the airport, and how we fight crime. Chris Davis is breaking it all down. There are three front runners for the Board of Aldermen president position. First, there's Megan Green. She's already an alderwoman, but would love the top job. Next, there's State Senator Jamila Nasheed. She's in Jeff City, but would love to come back to St. Louis with this job. Then there's Lewis Reed. He already has the job, but would love to keep it. They're all going for one position, but why should we care? One word, power. Alderwoman Green. The Board of Aldermen President Alderman is a pretty Oldenburg. unique position. The name doesn't sound all that impressive, but the position has almost as much power as the St. Louis Mayor. Their official job is to run the Board of Aldermen meetings, but their biggest responsibility is to serve on what's called the Board of Estimate and Apportionment. The board consists of three people, the Mayor, the Treasurer, and the Board of Aldermen President. This one committee essentially makes all of the financial decisions for our city. So will Lambert Airport privatize? ENA could kill that before the plan even reaches the full Board of Aldermen. Should we bring in a new policing strategy for St. Louis? ENA would set the budget for that. Here's the other thing. Tuesday's election is technically just a primary, but the three front runners are all Democrats and there's no Republican on the ballot. So this is, for all intensive purposes, the general election. So let's put it this way. If you love St. Louis and care about its future, do your homework and then show up to vote on Tuesday. Chris Davis, five on your side. Join us tomorrow morning for Today in St. Louis, where our Abby Larico will delve more into where each candidate stands on the issues.